and bear a son. At that season, that Elisha has said unto her, according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said unto his father, my head, my head. And he said to a lad, carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called on her husband and said, send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the asses that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, wherefore will thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, it shall be well. Then she saddled and asked and said to her servant, drive and go forward. Slack not thy riding for me, except I bid thee, I bid thee. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off, that she said to Gehazi his servant, Behold, yonder is, the, that, is that Shunammite. Run now, I pray thee, to meet her. Say unto her, it is, it is, uh, is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered, it is well. And when she came to the man of God to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And the Lord had hid it from me and had not told me. Then she said, did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, do not deceive me? Then, said to Gehazi, then he said to Gehazi, get up thy loins and take my staff in thy hand and go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not. And if any salute thee, answer him not again. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he rose, arose, and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them, and laid the staff upon the face of the child. But there was neither voice nor hearing. Wherefore he went again to meet him, and told him, saying, The child is not awake. And when Elisha was come into the house, Behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, Take up thy son. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With that, we are looking at this topic, faith that cannot be denied. Faith that cannot be denied. 
You know, the Christian work is started by faith and continued in faith. As usual, like we know, without faith, we never can please God. Like the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And normally God also honors faith. Where you find, you know, a real trusting faith, that faith is never denied. That faith can never be denied. And as you look into the Bible, you'll find a whole lot of examples. You look at Mark chapter 1, you'll find the case of the leper who came. And he said, if thou will, that can make me whole. And the Bible says that Jesus healed him. He came by faith. He trusted God. And he said, it's on your own side. For me, I'm willing. But if you will also, then you can make me whole. And the Bible says, the Lord answered, and then he prayed for him. He got his healing. You look at the same book of Mark, chapter 2. What do we find there? We saw that man who was silk of the palsy. The evening, the friends who brought him, the Bible says that Jesus was at a certain place. The whole place was jam-packed that they couldn't break through half a way to enter to put this man there. The man was still on the bed. What happened? The feet of these friends opened the top, or I mean, the roof of the house, and they now dropped him from that roof. What happened? That man got his healing. You go to even the same chapter 5 of the book of Mark. We saw the case of the woman with the issue of the blood. The Bible says she also said, if only I can touch the helm of his garment. If only I can touch this man. If only I can touch this man. And what happened? The Bible says by the time she touched this man, oh, she, she got what? She got her healing. Praise the name of the Lord. And as you read the Bible, even in chapter 7 of the same book of Mark, you find the one of the Syrophoenician woman, the Syrophoenician woman who also came for the deliverance of the daughter being troubled by the devil. She also got a healing, got the deliverance for the daughter. And as many that you look in the Bible who came to Jesus, believing, trusting him, you know, the Bible says that every one of them, they went out, what? With their faith not being denied. They got their healing. They got their deliverances. Everything they were looking upon to God for, they got it. So that's why we are looking at faith that cannot be denied. If only you will come to Jesus by faith, let me tell you that your faith will not be denied in Jesus' name. Amen. And when you look at it in the Bible, it's always, it has always been like that. God has prescribed that the just shall live by faith as well. In the book of Habakkuk, we saw it there. In the Old Testament, this statement was made. It was the first time it was said when Habakkuk was saying, say the just will live by faith. And by the time you get to the New Testament, on three occasions, the Apostle Paul quoted the same passages as he wrote to the Christians in Rome, as he wrote to the church in Galatia, as he wrote even to the Hebrew believers as well. And there is only one royal route to developing the kind of this spiritual faith that cannot be denied. And that is God's word being nurtured in our heart. If only you can just believe God, trust God's word, rely on God's word, my brother, and hope in that God's word. Let me tell you that as you just appropriate that faith in your life because of what God has said, Look, that faith can never, never be denied. And I pray that tonight, as your faith, oh, you rely on that faith on God, you trust him, your faith tonight also will never be denied in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, you look at even 
the contemporary church is beset with so many definitions and even explanations of faith, the bulk of which turn out to be what? To be draws. Mm -hmm. They are essentially fake substitute. That faith into its significance in the heat of even spiritual battles. However, spiritual faith that cannot be denied is what in, in the is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He said, Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things which you have not even heard. You have not mm. even seen. Hope, a faith, is very, very important. It's very, very important. And remember, like I said, by the time you go down to verse 6, it tells you that without this kind mm -hmm. of faith, it is impossible to please the God. Lord. And I pray that, as he has been illustrated in many passages in the Bible, of which even the one we have just looked at, and we have just read a short while ago, you know, as an example, and believing that God himself also, as we trust him, we believe him, and that our faith will never be denied in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going to look at the first point of our message. I'm going to talk on the first point, which is the trust, the trust, the trust of faith. And the second point is going to be the testimony of faith. Then we will talk about the third point that as we we'll put this first point, second point into practice, what happens? The end result is always what? Triumph. Triumph. So we will look at the triumph of faith. The triumph of faith. So first, let's look at the trust, the trust of faith. Look at that, our passage again, 2 Kings chapter 4. And I'm reading verse 20 to 22. He says, And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and shut the door upon him and went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men, and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. Verse 25, verse, 20, verse 24. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Ride and go forward. Slap not thy riding for me, except I be thee. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Camel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her, a pharaoh, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Here, like we are talking, we are talking about the trust. There is an element of self abandonment, even in this kind of faith manifested by the Shunammite woman. What are we talking about? The faith that refuses to bury even a dead child, believing that whole, oh, believing rather than resurrection. You know, he was so much trusting, hoping that this dead child, it will not be like this. He's going to resurrect. He's going to be alive once again. And it's very, very important we all take note of this situation. It's very, very important. Many a times, you know, a lot of us, sometimes when something happens, we just take it the way it is, but not this woman. Look at the trust. Look at the confidence he had, the faith that he had. He refused even to bury even that child, you know, believing that definitely this child will resurrect. The faith that has the courage even to travel Look at the, the mean, the distance to travel miles to see God's prophet amidst all the discouraging suggestions of the devil. And by this time, the devil will be telling her, even look at what the, what the husband asked. He said, Why do you want to go and see the man of God? For what purpose? You know that, yes, it's neither what the new moon or even the Sabbath day. So, what are you going to? 
What are you going to do with to, uh, at, the, at the man of God's place? You know, and by the time she's going, I don't know how many suggestions the devil will have been drinking into the mind. That look, it's like you're wasting time. The child is gone. If maybe the child is sick and you are going to the man of God to pray for the child to get healing, it will have been different thing. But this issue is different. The person is already gone. Don't bother, don't waste your time, but thank God for this woman. With all the discouragement, with all the, you know, the suggestions of the enemy, oh, she still went ahead. Look at the book of Matthew, and it's always like that. As many who come before God, my brother, regardless of all the hindrances, the obstacles, you know, they always go back with their faith being what? I, 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 I mean, being blessed by their faith. Look at Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, and looking at from verse 21. Matthew chapter 15, looking from verse 21. Matthew 15 from verse 21. And he says, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Ty and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after her. But he answered, but he, but he said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and, and to cast it to dogs. And he said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs, which fall from their master's table. Look at the obstacle. You know, here was somebody coming to seek for help. The disciples of all people, he was not coming to the disciple. She was coming to their master. But even then, they were number one hindrance. They were number one obstacle. And they were telling her, go away, go away, go away. And by the time she had kept on calling upon their master, the master turned him also and thinking that, oh, something good was going to come out, it was another obstacle. Telling her that, no, I have been sent to the house, I mean, the, the, the house of Israel, the lordship of the house of Israel. I'm not sent to you. She went on even to qualify her. He said, no, what you are looking for is for the children. But you are, I cannot take that one and cast it to dog. It's like you are a dog. You are not entitled for this healing you are looking for. You know, if it is today, people will have said, what is this one is partiality. This one is what racism, or is it nationalism or tribalism, whatever they may call it. But they will have said it. They will have used a whole lot of things to say, but this woman kept on. And that's what we are talking about, faith that cannot be denied. And as she kept on, she kept on, she kept on looking for what was, I mean, what he came in for. At the end of the day, the Bible told us in that verse 28, then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Mm -hmm. By the time she told Jesus, if it is even the crumbs, after the children have eaten, those bread, give that one to me. The Bible says that that one was enough for her. And Jesus looking at the faith of this woman, the faith, my brother, that was not ready, you know, to be discouraged. The faith that was not ready to get what, I mean, uh, distracted. Oh, she got what she wanted. And that's why we are talking about the trust the trust of faith. Will you be able to trust God? Will you be able to hold on to God? My brother, my sister, that look, 
what I'm believing this person for is able to give it unto me. And this woman, that was her own situation. She made a long journey, believing that as she sees the man of God, something good will come out. That child will wake up. And that's why even when she called, she was asking, is everybody well in the house? He said, yes, everything is well. Everything is well. I pray that the Lord himself will help us to have that unshakable trust, that unshakable faith in the Lord. And by the time we hold on to that faith, trusting him, oh, for what we are believing him for, that faith will never be denied in Jesus' name. The faith Amen. that cannot be denied, it must come with a trust in that faith, the trust of faith, the trust of faith. Look at also Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, and I'm looking at verse 5 to 10. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 5 to 10. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. And the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I said to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them, that followed, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. The end result is that by the time Jesus told him, just go, but he spoke with Jesus immediately, immediately that his servant got his healing. The trust, the trust, the trust, the trust of faith. I pray the Lord himself will help us in Jesus' name. You know, mm -hmm. when we talk about trust, we are talking about relying, believing somebody. Let me quickly tell you this story, which will illustrate what we are talking about. You know, it's very important. There was this man many years ago. It was a true story about this man, some of these uh, rope, uh, rope uh, workers. You know, they tie rope from one end of another, to another end. And this man was a rope worker on the Niagara Falls. And they tied this rope. He walked on this rope, you know, with that stick in his hand, giving him balance. He walked on that rope to the other end and came back. People started clapping for him, clapping for him, clapping for him. Then by the time he too now took another wheelbarrow, he asked them, um, do you believe that I'm able to, with this wheelbarrow, walk on this rope, cross and come back? The people started, yes, we believe you, you can do it. He took that wheelbarrow, walked on that rope without falling, went to the other hand and came back. People clapped for him. Then he now put some blocks inside the wheelbarrow. He said, do you believe that I'm able to do this one to carry it? If to the other end and come back, they shouted, yes, we trust you, we believe you, you can do it. He did it, he went to the other side and came back. By the time he came back, then he removed all the blocks from the wheelbarrow. Then he called somebody, those protectors there who were clapping for him. And then he told them, he said that, okay, do you believe that I can put woman be inside that to carry the person go there and come back? They say, yes. Then you call one of them. Then you call one of them. He said, you, come inside the wheelbarrow. This one said, no, I'm not going. He called the another <laughs> one. This one said, no, I'm not coming. But you say you believe that, yes, I'm able to. Yes, they believe, but they can't trust him. They can't trust him. It's different thing from believing. It's different from trusting. They believe him that he's able to do it, but to trust him that ah, you will carry me to the other side. No, they couldn't trust him for that one. 
That's what we are talking about. And you find in the Christian dome, many people, yes, I believe he's a healer. I believe he's a provider. I believe he is a deliverer. I believe that he can do this, he can do this. I believe he will fight my battles for me. But when it comes to the time for them to trust this God, oh, they believe that yes, he's the healer, but they can't trust him for the healing. They can't wait. They can't trust him for that healing. I believe that he can provide. They can't trust him for him to provide for them. You know, and that's why we are talking. But this woman, he trusted. He trusted. He believed before him, for her going to that man of God, he's already showing she knew that something good will come out. But she put this boy down and ran to that place and came back, you know. So it's very different thing from trusting and then believing. But she trusted she trusted, she trusted God. And at the end of the day, that faith he had in the man of God was never denied. And when you look in the Bible, something like Abraham like faith, that believes in hope against hope, you know, can never, cannot be what denied. A Jacob like faith, that will not let go, even until the blessing has been given, can never be denied. A Moses-like faith that refuses to shift base until the promise of God's abiding presence have been given will never go undenied. Will never go undenied. And Hannah-like faith that will tarry in Shiloh till victory is won and someone received by faith can never go undenied. A Jabez-like faith that stays put until a name reversal has been effected, until a fortune reversal has been effected, can never go undenied. And we look at all these people, you know, and like the Shunammite woman, he had a trusting faith. Every one of them, these people that I've mentioned, is it Jacob? Is it Moses? Is it Abraham? Is it Hannah? You know, every one of them, Jabez, they trusted, they trusted, they believed. As before they went to the man of God, they knew. Before they went to God, praying to him, they knew he's able. But they trusted him also for it. I pray that we will trust God. We will trust God. We will trust God. And that our trust of faith will never go undenied in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Lord. So we are looking at the second point, which is the testimony of faith. The testimony of faith. Look at our test again in 2 Kings chapter 4, and I'm looking at verse 23. 2 Kings chapter 4, as I look at verse 23. 2 Kings 4, verse 23. He says, and he said, Wherefore will thou go to him? Today, it is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, it shall be well. Verse 26, run now, I pray thee, to meet her and say unto her, is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, it is well. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at Amen. the book of Romans. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4, the book of Romans chapter 4, and I'm looking at verse 17. Romans chapter 4, I'm looking at verse 17. Romans 4, verse 17. He says, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and call it those things which be not as though they were. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Call those things which be not. He said, even God, even God, he called those things which be not as though they were. And that was exactly what this woman did. The testimony. Her testimony was that it is well. It is well. It is well. The testimony of faith. He testified, she testified of the type of faith that he had. 
He called those things which were not as though they were. Oh, the child that they were asking, is he well? He said, yes, it is well. It is well. It is well. And my prayer is that our testimony, our testimony, our testimony of our faith, if only we will do it, my brother, the way God wants it to be done, that faith, that testimony of faith, it can never go what unanswered. God will always answer. I pray the Lord will do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, the Bible tells us that, like the scripture said, as he thinketh in his heart, so he see. When you look at the book of Proverbs 23, that's why he said, he said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And as this woman was thinking in her heart, that was how she was. That was how she was. That's why they asked her, is this child, is it well? He said, yes, the child, it is well with that child. Because she already in her heart, she's thinking this child will live. This child will live. This child will be resurrected. And as she thinking in her heart, so she was. So she was. And my prayer is that that will be our own lifestyle as well in Jesus' name. Amen. This woman in her heart was thinking that this child will live. This child will be good. The wellness of this child. And as he was confronted with this, he was able to confirm, to say what was in her heart. So when she was asked about it, she responded, she confessed, and she declared it is well. It is well. I pray that your confession, your confession, your confession, you to bring your victory in Jesus' name. It Amen. is well. Is the testimony of the faith that cannot be denied. It called those things that are not as though they were. It does not deny the reality. That is what it means. You know, when sometimes you say this thing, somebody will tell you, it's like, you are telling a lie. It's like, you are exaggerating. It's like, but what are you talking about? This is the reality. This is what is happening. But like that woman, the reality was that the child was there, but she didn't take that reality to be the finality. She knew that the child will resurrect. That's why when she was asked, is it well with that child? She said, it is well. It is well. She didn't believe the finality to be, I mean, the, the reality to be the finality. And I remember one sister I know, you know, she was a believer. And I think she was struggling with marriage. She was really struggling with marriage. Age was not on her side as well. And people will definitely sometimes will be talking here and there. Whenever she sees me, I used to take baths with her when I used to go to work. And so we used to talk. We talk about the gospel, everything. So that's how I got to know the problem she was having. So after a long time, she told me once that I, it's like she was in court shape. Somebody was approaching her. So I was even advising her, just trust God, pray to God. Just let God lead you and every other thing. And for some time, long time, I couldn't see this sister. By the time I found the sister, I asked her, I said, my sister, how are things? He said, everything is okay. So I now remember, I said, ah, so how far with your courtship? That the long time we have never met, so I don't know how far you have gone with it. He said, ah, my brother, if that man is a good person, will that man come to me? You see, look at the statement she gave. He said, if that man is a good person, will that man come to me? You know that statement, what it implies? It's like, for me, <laughs> no good person comes to me. Any good person will never come to me. It's only bad people who comes to me. So that was why he said, that one is no good. If, if he's good, will he come to me? You know, it's your confession, the testimony of your faith. Do you trust God? Do you believe God? Would have, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. 
So you see, what is in your heart definitely will come out from your confession, will come out from your testimony. That's why faith is very important. Faith is very important. Trust this God. Believe this God. Believe what he has said. And as you trust and you come, you rely on that things he has, the things he has said, let me tell you that, that faith, that faith, that faith, it will never go, what, unanswered. The Lord definitely will answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you look from the outline, the Shunammite woman manifested self-control in her bereaved that even the husband could not detect what happened. She was not angry and hypersensitive. Hypersensitive. Her confession was not one of murmuring. It was not one of complaining, confessing, or even throwing questions at God. Her confession was positive. What did he what did she respond? She said, It is well. It is well. Look at Genesis chapter 22, the book of Genesis, chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22. And let's look at the confession of Abraham. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Genesis chapter 22. Look at verse 8. Genesis 22. As I look at verse 8. Let me read from verse 7. He said, And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I. Here am I. Son, and he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Okay. So they went on, both of them together. Yeah. You know the story. What happened at the end of the day? Oh, what he confessed, God himself will provide a lamb. God himself will provide a lamb. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You know, he confessed what was in his heart. The testimony, the testimony, what was in his heart. He declared it, the testimony of his faith. What was his faith? His faith was that. God is able to provide. God is able to provide. And at the end of the day, that testimony came to pass. God provided himself a lamb. Oh, her heart was, this woman's heart was full of faith. And her mouth was full of what? Testimony of faith. She was strong in faith, counting that the same God who gave the child the child could bring him back also to life. And I'm telling you what you believe God for. As you testify it, as you declare it, and he, my brother, it will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And look at the testimony of David. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And I'm looking from verse 37. 1 Samuel 17 from verse 37. 1 Samuel 17 verse 37. Then David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul so said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Look at verse 45, verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. There is day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the air, 
that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. He declared what was in his heart. He testified what he believes, what he believed. That's why we are looking at the second point, the testimony of faith, the testimony, the testimony of faith, the faith that cannot be denied. It has a testimony. The faith that cannot be denied, it has a testimony. And my brother, what is your testimony concerning your financial life? What is your testimony concerning your marital life? What is the testimony that you are believing God for in your career? What is your own testimony? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Look at David. He testified. Everything he declared, he testified of, it came to pass. He said, as God delivered me, oh, from the hand of the, well, I mean, the bear and the lion, God also would deliver this man also into my hand. And he went on. He said, told the man, even before the fight even started, he said, this day, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to take off your head. I'm going to give even the, the Philistine, your body, your carcass, even to the best of the air. And he said, exactly what happened. It's exactly what happened. The testimony of faith. Look at the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 14, verse 8 to 9. Numbers chapter 14, verse 8 to 9. Numbers chapter 14, verses 8 to to nine. Look at another testimony. Testimony of faith. Numbers 14 from verses 8 to 9. He said, and if the Lord delight in earth, this was Joshua and Caleb, if the Lord delight in earth, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which floweth with milk and honey. <laughs> Only rebel not ye against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bred for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My Hallelujah. brother, let me tell you that God is able. God is able. The testimony of your faith, and as these people believe, you know, and they told the people what they were believing, that is what they testified. And what, what did we see? The story tells us it was only two of them, two of them, two of them, who were able to get into the land which was flowing with milk and honey. And they told them, he said, no, don't be afraid. Since the Lord delight in us, he will bring us into that land, the land which is flowing with milk and honey. Don't be afraid of these people. But those people say, no. What they was in their heart, the faith in them. Oh, at the end, that was what came out from their mouth. And that was what they got. That was what they got. Brethren, the testimony, the testimony, the testimony of faith, the faith that can never be denied, it have a testimony. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Fellas, you read all those scriptures over there, is talking about the testimony of faith. This woman, her persuasion was like that of Job, for I know that my Redeemer liveth. Yes, that was the testimony of, of, of Job. And at one point, you find also that the same Job, he said it in another way. He said, look, in Job chapter 13, verse 15, he said, look, even though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Mm -hmm. Yet will I trust in him. I have faith in him and my trust is still going to be in, 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 that, in, in, in him. And at the end of the day, didn't you see how God turned things around for Job? God turned the captivity of Job. And everything he lost, the Bible says he got double of it. He got double of it. I pray that the Lord will help us that our testimony of our faith will always be that of what trust, will always be that of confidence in this God. And by the time we do, that faith cannot be denied in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That leads to the last point, 
which is the triumph, the triumph, triumph of faith. When you trust God, when you believe in this God, let me tell you that, oh, by the time you trust him, by the time you testify of that your faith, the end result is always what? Triumph, triumph. Look at our test again, 2 Kings chapter 4, as I look at verse 36 and 37. He says, and he called Gehazi and said, call this Shunammite. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, take up thy son. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed herself to the ground and took up her son and went out. This is the outcome of trust. This is the outcome of what? Of the testimony of faith, triumph, triumph. As he trusted, as he declared, testified, he came out what? He, she came out triumphant. You know, the faith, that cannot be denied. In whatever way you manifest faith, there will always result what? It will always result in miracle. It will always result in triumph. And it's very, very important. That's why, my brother, don't joke. Don't toil with your trust in the faith of God. Don't toil with your confidence, I mean, the testimony of, of faith. Never toil with it. Never joke with it. As you just put these two things into what practice, the triumph will be your portion in Jesus' name. You know, Amen. victory and triumph are always the crowning outcome of faith that cannot be denied. The Shunammite woman received her son back to life. And brethren, based on this story, you know, based on this story, which has been written down for our learning, based on this story, which has been written as an example for us, you know, that as you are manifest it, as you appropriate it in your life, let me tell you, I can assure you that tonight, that faith you have in God, it cannot be denied in Jesus' name. Based Amen. on this story, as you live by it, you put it into practice. Since it has been written down for our learning, it is has been written down for an example, and you appropriate it in your life like that, that is why I'm so much sure, full of assurance, that tonight your faith will cannot be denied in Jesus' name. Trust Amen. the Lord. Testify of his, I mean, of, 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 of the faith you have in him. And the Lord will not deny you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the work of faith around Jericho was, will always result in a miracle. The journey to Jordan done in faith and in obedience will result in cleansing. The prayer of faith can, can shut and even open heavens and bring down fire. It can also bring what? It can heal the sick as manifested in the lives of Elijah and Elisha. Christ's word clarifies it even better. It expresses it even better. It expresses it even better in, I mean, John chapter 15, verse 7. What did he say? He said, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Tonight, let me tell you, time will fail me to read. If you read Luke chapter 7, you find it there, the centurion, as he believed and he told Christ Jesus. He said, no, you only speak the word. What happened? By the time he moved a small forward, the Bible said there came some servant who told her that, oh, look, that your servant is alive. He has been healed. When you look at the same Luke chapter 17, you find the leper who came, Christ told them, Oh, go, show yourself to this thing. The Bible said they were still what? They were still sick. But as they were going, something took place. They got their healing. Brethren, oh, that is always the case. If you manifest your face, if you manifest your face, always there will be triumph. There will be triumph. And like I'm saying, Christ said, he said, you shall ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. Tonight is your night. Tonight Amen. is your night. 
Tonight Amen. is your You can ask, Amen. and the Lord is going to do for you. What do you Amen. wish that the Lord should do unto you? What do you desire? Yes. What would that the Lord should do unto you? What do you ask the Lord even tonight? And, and, and you exercise your faith. Let me tell you that God Himself will answer you in Jesus' name. Why not Amen. open your heart at this moment to begin to pray? Begin to pray. Pray. And like as usual, thank God. You know what God drinks his wet like that is for a purpose. The thing that cannot be denied. You need to praise him for it. You may not so have seen many examples in the scripture. This for a reason. Then the word they are giving us you, they will not return on you. But we can that's what he will. Ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. It shall be done unto you. Talk to the Lord in prayer. To the blind Bartimaeus, he said, What will that I should do unto thee? What will that I should do unto thee? And to, that is the question. Tonight, that is the question the Lord is asking you. My brother, you have faith? Yes. Yes, but what do you want that the Lord should do unto thee? To the, because what will that I should do unto thee? Oh, you remember the case of Esther, Queen Esther. The king said unto her, what will thou? What is thy request? What is thy petition? Of my kingdom, I will give it unto thee. And tonight we are not before kings. Tonight we are before the king of kings. Tonight we are before the Lord of Lords. Tonight we are before the Lord of Lords. Tonight we are before the Lord our healer. Tonight we are before the Lord our peace. He will, he will, he will, he will, he will. He, will. he, will. he, will. he shall ask what he will. He shall ask what he will. And it shall be done unto you. To Nehemiah, he told him, the king said to him, for what thou, thou make thy request, for what thou, thou make thy request. Yo, the king asked Nehemiah, he said, what request do you make? What request do you make? What request do you make? Do you make? Nehemiah petitioned him, laid before him his request, and the Bible said, the king granted him his request. And let me tell you, if man Man, man, as evil as man is, my brother, if you ask for bread, it doesn't give you stone. If you ask for fish, it doesn't give you serpent. Oh, how much more our heavenly Father! If you can't believe it, if you can't trust it, if you can't believe it, if you can't trust it, oh, those people in the Bible who were asked, what is that position? Those people in the Bible who were asked, what is that position? Those people in the Bible who were confronted with, oh, what do you make? What desire do you have? As they told the people. Oh, we learn from the Bible. Those people granted them their request. Those people granted them their request. Nehemiah, oh, the king at that time granted him his request. Oh, Esther, the king at that time, the husband, granted her a request. My brother, yes, God is more than them. God is more than them. He's, great. He's the creator of this seminar. He's the sovereign God, the owner, the one who is ruling in the kingdom and of the one who has heaven as his throne, the one who has earth as his footstool, the one who has given the earth unto the sons of men. My brother, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask. 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 Believing, believing that faith, my brother, the faith that can 
cannot be denied. It's the trusting of that faith. It's the faith that trusts in God. The faith that cannot be denied. It's the faith that trusts in God. The faith that cannot be denied. It has a testimony. It has a testimony. It has a testimony. It called those things will be not as though they were. Oh, they yeah, call they those the things which be not as though they were. They and begin to call God, those God. things which are not God. as though they are. My brother, pray, 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 pray. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the sick say, I am healed. Let the poor say, I am rich. My brother, you can testify, 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 testify. The testimony of faith. The testimony of faith, the testimony of faith, the trust of faith, my brother, that cannot be denied, the trust of faith that cannot be denied, the testimony of faith that cannot be denied, as you are proclaiming why the every thought will be triumphed. What is your request? Tonight you must triumph. What is your petition? Tonight you must triumph. What is your need? Tonight you must triumph. What is your desire? Tonight you must triumph. Call upon the name of the Lord. My brother, pray, my sister, call upon the Lord. And the Lord, 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 He will grant you your request. He will grant you your request. He will grant you your request. Remember the testimony of your faith. You call it those things which be not as though they are. Call is call those things. Call those things. Testify. 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 My brother, what has God said? What has God said concerning you? What has God said, God said concerning your career? What has God said concerning your finances? What has God said concerning your marital? What has God said, my brother? Oh, pray, pray, pray. What has God said concerning your health? As you trust the Lord, as you trust the Lord, as you trust the Lord, what he has spoken, what is your faith? My brother, the Lord will answer. The Lord will grant you your request. The Lord will grant you your The Lord will grant you. He will grant it to 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 you. In the name of Jesus, He will grant you. He will grant you. Call those things which be not as though from the life of God. They are like be of good cheer. For I believe God, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. It shall be even as it was told me. It shall be even as it was told me concerning your, your health. What are you have? Have you been told concerning your health? I am the Lord that he did. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, oh, you are healed. Call those things. Call those things. Speak those things out. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will supply. The Lord will supply all you can do. Riches in Christ. I cry Jesus. Jesus, let them say, I am rich. The Lord will supply. The Lord will supply. Oh, my you can pray. You can pray. What has you been told? What have you been told? That what, what you have promised me, Lord, and God, what that you are able to do. You are able what to have you been told from the scriptures? What have you read from the scriptures? My brother, believe, 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 God, that you have been able to do. Of the great of what you have said. It shall be even as it was told me. It shall be even as it was told me. Trust God. Believe God for tonight. Trust God. Believe God for tonight. What is your petition? What is your request? What? Oh, what, what do you desire as the Lord? 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 As the Lord, as the Lord, as the Lord shall have what you will, and it shall be.
unto you. Because the words of this, ye shall what you will. Uh, the problem that challenges me. Call upon oh, the Lord. Ask me. 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 Be grateful, 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 be the God who is our Savior, the God who is our Redeemer, who is our provider, who is our peace. Lord, you are our all in all. You are, the one, you are the one our hope, our trust is in. You are the one we put our confidence. And Lord, I pray that tonight, as many who have believed you, O King of glory, Lord, like the topic of the message says, faith that cannot be denied. Mm -hmm. I pray as your people have trusted you, as your people, oh God, testified of their faith and their confidence in you. Oh Lord, I pray, let their faith tonight never be denied in Jesus' name. Pray mm -hmm. that as you open it, your hand, which always you satisfy the desire of every soul. I pray that tonight, as you open your hand, meet the need of your people. Mm -hmm. Patient of days, know for a reality is what you give that we gather. Mm -hmm. If you don't give, there is nothing for us to gather. And I'm praying that tonight, all that requires the petition of your people, Lord, grant them their heart desire in Jesus' name. Okay. Father, we learn from the scriptures. People like the king during the time of Esther, somebody like the king during the time of Nehemiah, every one of them, the Bible says that they ask them, what is your request? What is your petition? And as they responded, they told them their desire, they granted it unto them. Ooh. Jesus, as we read even from this scriptures this evening, many times he asked the people who came to him, those who are trusting, believing that he is able to heal, he's able to deliver, he's mm -hmm. able to intervene in their situation. He still sometimes asks them, what will that I should do unto you? And as they mention those things, as they declare those things, Lord, they never go, oh God, unanswered. He granted them every of their needs. He granted them every of their requests. Lord, tonight I pray you have never changed. I pray that grant the request of your children in Jesus' name. Grant them your petition, oh God, in Jesus' name. I pray their hard desire, like you have said, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. I pray, be it financial, be it spiritual, be it physical, social, in career-wise, I pray that, Lord, grant them their desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Amen. Lord God Almighty, thank we want you. to say thank you. We thank want to you. bless your great name. And I pray that every moment, every time, as we trust, oh God, we trust in you. As we testify of our faith in you, let there be a help from above in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you God for doing it for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord wonderfully for what he has marvelously done for us. See the goodness of the Lord reminding us once more.